Hi everyone, it's Amy, and I'm back with episode 9 of Vintage Made Modern. Today I'm going to share with you chapter 8 in the Vintage Notions book. This is a thimble full of fun. So I'm going to start off by telling you a little bit about what will be included in this chapter. We're going to talk about vacation, fashion, and picnics. To start out, you're going to see the modern notion, and I wanted to point out this illustration of the hammock. And so relaxation, vacation, taking a break is what this chapter is going to be about. And you will see over here the quote from Mary Brooks Pickin, and I'm going to read it to you. Play makes for better work and easier work. For in reality, healthy playing is cooperating with oneself toward better expression of life and love. You'll see here we have a really beautiful um, vintage textile, and I'm going to quick show you um, where that image came from. It was actually a tablecloth, and this was one of the matching napkins. And you can see the stitches there, some French knots and lazy daisies. And we'll, later in the episode, I'll talk to you more about some of the videos we have and free patterns we have for um, these embroidery designs and other designs. So moving on to um, the opening essay, Mary Brooks Pickin, a little recreation now and then. And this image of recreation has a woman canoeing. And so this was especially meaningful for me because the last month I had spent kayaking up in Michigan. And I will tell you though, I was not wearing the matching outfit that she has, the skirt with the darling top. I was in my swimsuit, but it was beautiful. And it was again, getting away from day to day life to give yourself rejuvenation and just inspire your creative spirit. And that's a wonderful thing and something that this chapter shares with you in the essays. So I wanted to show with you the show you the embroidery on this page. You'll see this flower and where it came from. I'm going to share. So this was a um square, little square to embroidery. Sometimes these were called penny squares because they were actually sold for a penny in the days of um, Redworks popularity. This little piece though, I found and then decided, just love the color combination, the orange and the blue. And we ended up um, combining that with this fabric, which you can see, this is um, just a fun vintage print. And you can see it here where we added the border. And then later on, we actually did took this vintage design, again, Vintage Made Modern is this series name, and we did a towel, a dish towel embroidery, and we added bloom. So you can see um, just how where our design came from. And we do have these um, free patterns, and we did a series of videos teaching you the stitches. And this one, in fact, is with our um, French knot video and later I'll talk about cross stitch too. That's one of the videos. So moving on I have um, Another essay the importance of play and I wanted to point out this graphic because what I loved about it number one the relaxation the outdoors and then the tiny little sewing basket um, and the woman working on some handwork in the graphic so this book is filled with these wonderful elements that were originally part of the Women's Institute's Inspiration Newsletter. Moving on, we have the picnic lunch. And what you'll see here is a graphic of um, a lunch basket and um, picnic basket that is. So uh, when we didn't have paper plates and um, conveniences of today, you'll see that all of those were taken along in a basket. Um, and speaking of relaxation, I want to flip back. I remember I did not share with you one quote from this essay. And I'm going to read it to you now, just because it's my favorite. I didn't want you to miss it. Um, 
live in the sunshine and out of doors till your housebound or office-bound body loses its weariness and apathy and your blood runs as warm as your country cousins. So speaking of country, we'll go back to the picnic. And what I wanted to do here with picnics, I thought, okay, I could share with you guys some of the Indigo Junction patterns that would be great for if you're going to have to travel with food and you need a carrier whether it's a picnic or you're going to a friend's house for a holiday party. So we have two different patterns that offer some wonderful um, practical projects. This one is called Quilted Cook and Carry. And what it is, the, I'm gonna show you, here's the actual project. And you can see that it will carry up to a nine by 13 square or around, um, dish. I actually have a um, pie plate in, in here right now. And you can see as I open it, we use D-rings to close this. And uh, we use a solid fabric and a cotton, and then you can use a insulated or um, thermal type batting to keep your um, food warm. This one is the quilted one that you saw on the cover. And again, you can see here the center and what you're doing is you're sliding your handle through the D-rings um, this way. We'll bring it up this way and this way. We'll bring it up this way. And you're getting a little quick demo. So beautiful if you quilt. This is a great project. Could be a fun gift for a friend. We also have the casserole carry all, all and I'll quickly go through that one too. It works with the square or a larger nine by 13. And here is that version. Love this bright and cheery teal fabric and how much fun to use your wooden spoons for your handles. And this one just opens up and can be two different sizes, either the smaller square or the rectangle. We're gonna talk about vacation clothes. And I don't know about you, but I totally agree with this um, statement in the book. I'm gonna put on my glasses so I can make sure I get this right for you guys. To get the greatest amount of pleasure from a vacation, one must have clothes specifically planned for the activities involved. Two, vacation clothes of the right kind will double the fun by making you comfortable and putting you in a carefree out of door mood. So this image of an embroidery is by far my favorite in the book. And where did I get this wonderful image? I, a friend, my friend Linda, uh, I, she let me borrow one of her pillows that had this um, embroidery on it. And I recently was able to acquire one that was similar in styling to this one. And here it is, this is, um, a wonderful image of um, embroidered driving the car out for a hopefully a little vacation day, whether it's you're taking a break for the afternoon and for a week. All of us need um, to look this fashionable as we're out there traveling. So I thought that would be fun to share. Um, and moving on, this vacation clothes article also talks about the need for you to have two essential garments, one being sport dress, and the second one being a wrap for summer. So when I read that, I thought, wait a minute, we have the warm and cozy wrap that it, with Indigo Junction. And so I brought out the one that we stitched up for summer wear. So this is a shot cotton. It's really soft cotton that has a beautiful texture um, based on the threads that um, and the warp and the woof. And um, wanted to share that with you. So. If you're looking for a cozy wrap to keep you warm on a cool night, the warm and cozy wrap is an indigo junction pattern. Next up, you'll see that the we go on to the Department of Millinery and you can see some beautiful graphics of hats. Again, Millinery was one of the course work series that you could take from the Women's Institute. And Last but not least, we have the 
kimono. Um, and the kimono pattern is a really simple design. It has, I'm gonna go through and explain um, how it's described here. The instructions require no pattern and the time for making is of no consequence. Two hours proving, ample is the quote in the book. So two hour kimono, a simple version. We also have um, a ver couple versions of kimonos in the Indigo Junction line. We have both, and I brought those patterns too to quick share with you. Um, we have the contemporary kimono, and which is a jacket pattern in kimono style. And we have the classic kimono, which really is more your lounge wear or your robe style. So, Speaking of Indigo Junction patterns, I'm sharing a lot of them this, this episode. Travel. So I also have some wonderful additional travel patterns I wanted to share. And um, one of them is called the Clearly, uh, Clearly Cute Beauty Cases. Um, so I'm going to pull that one out first, my magic, under my magic table. And this fabric line, you'll see... Um, you'll see two prints. You'll see a lipstick and then um, these cute little red lips. And so the border print is encased in the vinyl, clear vinyl. Um, so this pattern, which looks like this, also comes with a um, pouch for either a curling iron or a hot iron, which flattening iron, which I thought I'd share too. Okay, and pocket for the brush or the cord. So that's a fun pattern for travel, the Clearly Cute Beauty Cases. And this line is made, um, is from Riley Blake, and it's called um, C. Kate So is the blogger whose line that this is, she created this, and it's Darling. And we're going to show you a little more on the second. Quickie too, you can also use the Clearly Cute Beauty Cases to make um, a place to put your sewing notions and um, tools and things for your hand sewing if you're traveling, which you always want to take your hand sewing along on your vacation, right? So one more travel pattern, and that is the spa shower set. And so the spa, spa shower set, the wonderful pattern, or the, what I like most in that pattern is the fact that there's a towel wrap band. Um, so I don't know if you like it to wear a towel wrap, getting ready, um, but this is the towel wrap. So you place this, literally wrap your towel and then put this around so your towel stays on. And it has a little Velcro. And then on the back, it has a actual um, two inch elastic casing that allows it to stretch so it'll fit and it does have sizes. The pattern has several sizes in it, depending on what size um, you're making maybe as a gift for somebody or for yourself. And I thought I'd show you one more version. We have the, the towel um, band can also be made with a ruffle to give it a little more feminine charm. Um, and then quickie, you can also, the pattern gives you instructions to actually make a towel wrap with the band at the top. So I wanted to make sure you knew all about it. So travel, that's what it's about this time of year. And um, I'm gonna quick take you back to the last image in this chapter. And this is, this is August heading in to the next season, but this image of the little sunflower face. This is one another one of my favorite embroideries. Now I've found my two favorites are in this chapter. Um, and again, my friend Linda shared this um, piece of this textile with me. It has a really cute pattern in the background that's a clover and the polka dots. Always love the polka dots. So, there you go, a thimble full of fun. I hope you've had fun watching and that you'll come back and for the, our next episode, 
please um, take a look at the description in the video because that's where I put all the links for all of the patterns that we've shared with you today. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. Thanks so much. We'll look forward to seeing you next time.